Name is Fred Windish, W-I-N-D-I-S-C-H, Chief of the Ponderosa Fire Department in North Harris County. Tonight at 12:18, uh, we were uh, notified by a drive up to our headquarters in the Ponderosa subdivision of a house on fire. Uh, we were staffed fully with eight people, responded immediately, about a two minute drive, and uh, the house was fully involved. It was a defensive fire from the beginning of our arrival. Uh, there weren't any specific problems fighting the fire. It was just a large house and uh, heavily involved with fire. Tell me a little bit about the personnel that you normally maintain at the station. Uh, we're a combination fire department and we have full-time, part-time, and volunteer. Uh, tonight, as usual, we had eight people at headquarters tonight. Uh, that is uh, full-time and volunteers that staff. And did that enable you to get a pretty good bite on the fire? The uh, first out units was an engine and a ladder truck that came out immediately. Again, drive time through the uh, subdivision. It takes a couple minutes, two to three, it depends. I haven't looked at the numbers yet, but uh, we were immediately uh, protected the exposures because uh, as the video shows, there was a lot of fire and uh, we were fortunate to have no further damage other than the house that was involved. Any injuries to residents or personnel? There's uh, no injuries to firefighters or civilians. Uh, we are investigating now. The Harris County Fire Marshal will be here uh, shortly and we'll start discussing with the homeowner if there was anything that uh, she can lead us to cause the fire. This time of year, cold weather, Christmas, what kind of advice could you give people? Uh, this, uh, this fire is a series that we've had here in the past two weeks. This is about uh, six home fires, uh, various causes. We've had candles unattended. We've had uh, Christmas decorations. We've had a heating unit. Uh, we've had a space heater. This one is undetermined at this time. It appears to be electrical, but I do not know exactly at this point. And so the, the mention here to the public is please pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, cooking fires is another major cause of fires. Any other comments you'd like to add? We were assisted by uh, Klein, Spring, Little York, and Champions. We did pull a second alarm due to the uh, size of the fire. However, we, we returned uh, several units back to service to protect their districts. Fred Windish, W-I-N-D-I-S-C-H, Chief of the Ponderosa Fire Department in North Harris County. Carolyn Stewart. Carol, spell your first name. C-A-R-O-L-Y-N. S-T-E-W-A-R-T. -E now, Carolyn, this is your home? Yes. What happened? Um, I woke up, by, my dogs woke me up, and I noticed that the chair next to the bed was on fire. I suspect it was an electrical fire because there was an extension cord that had several things plugged into it. I tried to go to the bathroom and get a bucket to Put the fire out myself but it was just way too far gone i couldn't reach my phone because my phone was on the other side of the fire so i drove to the fire station and honked and the guys came out and i told them my address and please follow me and they did rather quickly and by that time when i got home the, the house was totally involved now tell me about your your pets how many how many dogs i have two pets one is a border collie and he has not gotten out yet. Uh, Daisy is a mastiff, and she did get out and looks to be unharmed, but I'm worried about Taylor. You're okay? I'm okay. okay a little bit cold out here. Cold. Tonight, but, yeah, yeah. Anything that you would think of that you would have done different? Oh, uh, just not I'm plugged not. in that yeah. <laughs> extension cord. But the main thing is just to get out. Yeah, to get out because I've got a broken ankle right now, so my, my brace is probably gone in the fire, so. Yeah. So you, you were upstairs and you had to get No, I was downstairs, downstairs because of the ankle. And you still had a broken ankle and you had to get out and drive to the fire station. Yep. Let me get you to say that for me. I had a broken ankle uh -huh. that I broke in November and I had to kind of hurry but hobble along so I could get to the fire station because my 
boot that I usually wear to protect the ankle was over by the bed. So when you drove back by your house and saw it totally on fire, gone. What was running through your mind? That nothing's going to be saved. Now I understand this is not the first dealings that you've had with the house fire. Right. Thirty years ago, I had a house fire. I was at work and my children were cooking tater tots and left the grease on the stove, which ignited the kitchen and burned that house down. What month did that occur in? December. That was in December also. December the 30th, so right after we had opened all our Christmas presents. So you've got two house fires in your memory now in December. Yep. But you're okay. Yep. And this is the day that I rescued Taylor from an animal shelter on December 23rd, five years ago. So that was a special day for me too. Any other comment, Carol, that you'd like to add? But you're doing okay. I'm doing okay. Your name one more time? Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N, Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T. That's on fire. No, let's go.